red and purple lines have reached the end of their useful lifespans. Most tracks and bridges are now nearly 100 years old. Continuing to operate a busy rail line on this outdated infrastructure results in unusually high maintenance costs, the need for frequent repairs that disrupt service and slow travel, and outdated inadequate stations that can't accommodate modern amenities for customers. To address these issues, the Chicago Transit Authority is undertaking the largest capital improvement project in its history, the Red and Purple Modernization Program, or RPM. This major initiative will be completed in phases to rebuild the northern portion of the Red and Purple Lines from Belmont to Howard Station and the Purple Line, which extends further north to the Linden Station in Wilmette. RPM accommodates current and future ridership needs by comprehensively upgrading tracks and reconstructing stations. RPM also will increase the number of passengers that pass through these stations by expanding the number of trains that can travel on the red line, an improvement that will allow CTA to better serve customers for generations to come. By building the RPM project in phases, CTA can provide great improvements while minimizing impacts to passengers on CTA's most traveled line. Phase one includes two main components, the red-purple bypass project and the Lawrence to Bryn Mawr modernization project. Your attention please. We are standing momentarily waiting for signal clearance. We expect to be moving shortly. Sound familiar? Construction of a new red-purple bypass north of the Belmont station would eliminate the need for red, purple, and brown line trains to stop and wait for crossing trains, increasing the speed of all trains traveling through this area. The new bypass would dramatically reduce delays for all three lines that intersect near Belmont and allow CTA to add six to nine additional trains per hour on each track as ridership grows. As part of the Lawrence to Bryn Mawr modernization project, CTA would completely rebuild the Lawrence, Argyle, Berwyn, and Bryn Mawr stations to include modern amenities and elevators to make them fully accessible to customers with disabilities. During phase one, CTA also would rebuild all tracks, support structures, bridges, and viaducts on the mile plus stretch between these stations, significantly improving train speed and reliability. Future phases of RPM would bring the same level of infrastructure and station improvements to the red and purple lines, north of Belmont to Linden Station in Wilmette, and are contingent upon funding availability. In order to pursue federal funding for these projects, CTA is conducting two environmental assessments, one for each project within phase one. These assessments analyze community and environmental impacts in accordance with the National Environmental Policy Act. Public input will inform the environmental analysis and project design. Once the environmental analysis is complete, the environmental assessments will be made available to the public for review. Also, public hearings will be held to provide an opportunity for you to share your feedback on the benefits and impacts of the proposed Phase 1 projects. After CTA responds to comments and completes the environmental documents, these projects would become eligible for federal funding. Contingent upon receiving this funding, construction could begin within three to four years. RPM is just one part of CTA's Red Ahead program, a comprehensive initiative to maintain, modernize, and expand Chicago's most traveled rail line. Thank you for your interest in CTA's Red and Purple Modernization Program. To learn more about RPM, visit our website at transitchicago.com forward slash RPM project. You can also join the contact list by sending an email request to rpm at transitchicago.com.